That's it, van's loaded. Two very excitable passengers, hey boys? Nah, I don't seem bothered. Anyway, uh, we're gonna head to north coast of Wales. Fish a new spot I haven't tried before, but it's taken me a lot longer to get the van ready today than uh, I expected, so we've missed low tide. It's a low water mark, so we've missed that. The east coast is looking very ropey. Magic Seaweed saying that uh, we're looking at five to six foot of swells, 20 to 25 mile an hour winds on shore, so that's out of the question. So, bit of a longer drive than I hoped. I'm gonna go and try and check out an old spot that I know on, on Anglesey, North Wales. This trip will go one or two ways. It will either be an epic lads weekend, or you're gonna see me stressed out of my mind Balling at this pair because although they look like butter wouldn't melt, they're just typical cock spaniels. Everything's done at a thousand mile an hour. Uh, they fished with me once, but having said that, Sarah was about 100 yards up the beach in the van, so they were constantly back and forth between me and her. But either way, I'm sure it will make for good viewing. If you haven't already, subscribe and uh, stick along for the shit show that I'm sure is about to happen. The intention was because I was going to be solo camping with the dogs. I wanted to bring them somewhere, somewhere quiet, somewhere I've camped before, that I know is out of the way, is safe, um, plenty, of, plenty of room for the dogs. Well, thanks to the Welsh Council, I just got here. There's huge signs up there, there's a big gate up as well, saying no unauthorised vehicles, no entry, no camping, no fires, no fun basically. So we've had about that half mile walk down. This is where I'll show you show you the scenes. But yeah, essentially this is where we were gonna stay. It's a big flat open space here. Anyway, we're heading over them sand dunes down there. Which come up and over the top of the sand dune. That is what you're left with. Lovely little spot. Over the estuary that feeds up the uh, up towards Four Mile Bridge. So essentially, over that side, you've got Holy Island, and this is where we're going to be fishing into. This little estuary here. Plenty of space for the dogs to run around. There's a good flow, rocky on that side, I know it's sandy on this side. About an hour and a half, I think, to high tide, so we'll have a chuck, see if there's any bass about. Well, it appears we're all having fun. I do believe that was my first ever sea trail. Look at that, that's a beauty.
so that it covered it. Anyway, let's get it back. So I don't know if the, uh, the camera will pick it up, but we were right up next to that house there. And I think you can just about make out in the camera the, the tidal flow running around. It's running straight across the front of them rocks. It comes around this point and straight into that corner. So what I've decided to do is move up and onto this point here. Now I know, I know this area is a big flat sandy bay from last time we were here. The channel runs round past them rocks this way. So what I'm going to try and do is set up on this point. Hopefully I can miss basically that big slick that's running through there um, and try and get a little bit of depth on these walls. And here comes Eric. Has anybody else got two dogs and you find that one? Is a saint, and the other one is just an absolute diva. Well, I mean, it's been rather uneventful, but look at that for a sunset. Guarding the tackle. You okay, pal? You don't tell her that's the puppy and that's the elder one, are you? Now the tide's slackened off. Look at just how flat calm that is. Well, believe it or not, it is quarter to eleven. This camera does a very good job of the low light, but it's bitterly cold. I'm sure the dogs are getting cold as well, they've been in the water. So, it's called last cast, just a couple of sea trout. Um, a nice little walk back to the van there. Oh, I was just about to fill you in on the lovely scenery, but dogs ruined it. Seriously though. Hopefully he gets more luck than me.
Night, everyone. Morning, boys. I think Eric's dead. Eric? There he is. Yeah, there it goes. Coffee's done. Sausages are on. Dogs are off exploring. That's a stunning morning. Could make out for a cracking day. There's a bit of sea mist rolling in. But let's hope today we can get on some fish. So it's 6.30am. High tide won't be till about 10 o'clock, so... You can see... Uh, how much difference there is. So... Like I said, that's the uh, that's the point we were on. We moved on to last night. That's the big sandbar I was talking about. You can see the way that the current fills around the corner of those rocks. And this is the rock that I've stood on, started fishing on last night. All right, I'm going to stick you on my head today because I want to be a little bit more mobile. I think um, I tried a few, well, about an hour or so here last night, and then an hour or so on the point and had a, a couple of sea trout, but what I want to do today is, is maybe up along these rocks. I know this house is definitely empty. Um, they're still working on that. So hopefully work my way around these rocks uh, and then uh, go and fall in. Little rat bag. Uh, and then again, have a walk up as the tide fills in this little channel here, have a walk up onto that point and maybe even walk along um, if we stay till high tide. Uh, walk along and just chuck across that sandbar a little bit um, so like I say I'll keep you on my head hopefully uh, I've got the GoPro in the right place and you can see stuff if not uh, it might be a, a short morning's viewing tighten this drag up a little bit oh there's them sand eels all down in there I don't have very much doubt you're gonna see them on the GoPro a whole shoal of them in there the dogs are gonna come scare them off again anyway Oh, he's picking the sand eels up. First cast, let's have a fish, come on. Oh, that casts crap. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but this is how peaceful and quiet it is. There's not a breath of wind. I can hear a woodpecker and it's got to be all the way off in them trees over there, which is probably half a mile away. I can also hear this idiot whinging and crying and yawping. You've got him. It's non-stop, full of anxiety, whinging, crying, wanting to be doing stuff all the time. I'm sure he's got ADHD. And then you've got him, a 10-month-old puppy. Good as gold, look. Can't, you couldn't get two more extremes. Loads more sand eels in here as well. It's just full of sand eels, this little, uh, this little estuary is. You gonna go and fetch it? No, don't wind him up. You want it, you got it. You ready then? 
He's only going to sit and cry that it's cold. You're not bothered, are you, puppy? Now he's going to try and get past that rock, right in that tidal stream, rather than just going to the little pool that we've been in. There you go. There, are you happy now you've been for a swim? Good boy. Well, that's it. It's up to a little, uh, one of my faithful little metals, white and silver. Should catch the sun quite well in this light. So, first cast, let's go. See how much fire that that casts compared to that rubber thing. And it's the same, it's the same weight, it's just a lot more compact. Pair of you look like something off an RSPCA advert. There is one hell of a rip running through here now, so I think what we're going to do is move just to where that sandbar is, just come this side of it into this little bay. Time we're on. Half eight, so we've got about an hour and a half till, till high tide, so give that a go. Worst case, I think knock it on the head for half an hour. Um, Take these for a walk around the headland so that poor old doggo doesn't feel uh, abused, misled. Um, and then uh, and then we'll come back and we'll try over the top of tide. Come on then, let's go. So as you saw earlier, as we walk around here, we're out of the, the main depth of water. I mean, it still drops fairly deep. I'd still say we're in, you know, six foot of water where I'm casting into. The main channel runs just around the edge of these rocks and follows it in. So um, we're not going to be in massive amounts of water, but having said that, oh. Having said that, I'm not sure if this is a fish. Oh yeah, it is. That is the slowest bite. I've ever seen. God only knows what this could be. Oh, starting to wake up a little bit now. I think, given the activity last night, this is possibly another small little sea trout. Oh, 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 it's woke up. What do we have? Maxi, leave. What are you, friend? That is possibly the brownest bass. Come here, I have ever seen. Oh, leave, leave. But it is a bass nonetheless. And a very unusual bite for a bass. Well, there you go. And he's gone. Yeah, very unusual bite, that for a bass. That was very slow, very sluggish. Um, I didn't quite, oh, I thought I'd uh, just snagged into a little rock, but there we go. There's a lot of people starting to appear. I don't like it. I don't like it in the slightest. I don't know if this is another fish or if it's just sat on the bottom now. I think, I think we've got another tiddler on. Maybe not. Cannot be too sure. Hey, look at that. And that is a tiddler. 
But <coughs> quiet. <coughs> that would be a wicked live bait. But there we go, gone. Eric's not quite sure where, but it's gone. Oh, that's it. We've fished all the way up to uh, all the way up to the sandbar. See just behind me. So we fished all the way out of the estuary, all the way back down. Started off at them houses. So I promised the boys a walk. So we're going to walk the rest of this bay. I've got the rod on my bike. All set up. I'll have a good hour's walk along the beach. Give the dogs a bit of a run. Give them a bit of fuss. A little bit of life. And then uh, hopefully by the time we get back down to that sandbar. Tidally eased off, and uh, hopefully, we're getting some fish. Oh, here we go. Last time I was fishing here, even though it says maximum eight knots, I had a dickhead just like this come flying through here, and it come through that quick. I snapped all my line off and everything. Oh, Sprat's jumping there. There's something in close. In fact, it might even be the same boat. It looks like the same boat. He knows where the channel is. Eight knots, no? What a tosser. Last stop. And I've a dozen or so casts here. It's uh, we're nearly an hour after high tide now, so it's going to start flooding back out again in a minute. Well, tide's on the turn now and uh, yeah, looking into uh, looking into a lot of a lot of weed. So I think uh, I think at that we're going to call it quit. That's what's done. Two tired out doggos. Uh, it's been a good couple of days to be fair. It could have gone a lot worse. A bit scarce on the fish, but I picked a venue that I knew was out of the way. I knew it wouldn't be busy, so that. I haven't got that to contend with as well as having dogs on my own. First time I've been solo with the dogs, camping, fishing, so it's good just to get out and uh, get that experience under the belt. Let me know in the comments if you find it entertaining or annoying. Uh, do you want to see the dogs feature more or less? Um, I'd like to come out with them more. I think they, they can only get better and better the more they get used to it, the more exposure they get. Um, hopefully next time I can pick a spot with a few more fish. But yeah, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Um, drop a drop a thumbs up if you've enjoyed the video. And until next time, guys, take care.